The context toolbar now allows you to create and manipulate geometry directly to a 3D model. First, let's go ahead and actually create some 3D geometry by selecting the XY plane. And once that happens, we see we have a context toolbar. I'm going to select the sketch. Within our sketch, I'm going to select and create a simple circle. I'm going to exit our sketch. And I'm going to select on it with the left mouse button. And now I'm going to select within our context toolbar, our robot. Now if you notice, within our work area, we have another context toolbar. Within this second context toolbar, we have a couple of choices. We have Create Features Mode and Move Features Mode. We also have Upper Dimension and Same Dimension. Now each of these create a certain combination to what you want to do or apply to the circle we just created. I'm going to select Create Features Mode. And next I'm going to select Same Dimension. Next I'm going to drag the robot handle. And notice now our sketch is translated. And if you look at our tree, we have a translate within our tree. You can use the arrow here provided by the robot, or you can use the arrow here to move the circle much more precisely. When finished, go ahead and select anywhere else on the graphic window. Select the center of our robot and move it to the side to complete the feature. Another way you can manipulate or create geometry is go ahead and by selecting again, we're going to select our translate circle. I'm going to select our robot, except here in our second optional window of our context toolbar, I'm going to make sure I select create modes. And this time I'm going to select upper dimension. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the arrow in the robot and I'm going to start pulling. And notice now I'm creating a pad. This pad is also placed within our tree again as you see here. Again, I can manipulate the length of our pad by dragging this arrow here to get the desired height. Again, I'm going to click away. I'm going to grab the center of our robot and place it over here to exit our feature. Next, I'm going to select our original primary circle we created in the sketch. I'm going to select our robot. This time I'm going to select, now you can do this either with a line or an axis. I'm going to select it here. And notice with our Create Features mode on and our upper dimension on, I'm going to grab this circle line here and start to rotate about it. And notice here how we're creating a shaft. Again, I can use the arrow here to create the shaft or I can grab onto our line and drag. When finished, click away. Drag the robot away from the part you just created and notice now how you created a shaft. Another way we can actually start to remove material using our context toolbar is let's go ahead and select this face here and select our sketch button. And I'm going to select Rectangle Tool. And I'm going to drag. And I'm going to exit. I'm going to left click the mouse button. Or I can also select the sketch itself. Select our robot. Make sure we have our upper dimension and our Create Features mode on. And notice how automatically I can remove material using the pocket command within our cylinder. Let's try finally one more manipulation on our part models here. Let's go ahead and use the other side of this particular face. And I'm going to select sketch. And this time I'm going to create another square or rectangle, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to exit. 
And this time I'm going to select a robot and I'm going to select this line right here. And now I'm going to rotate and notice how it automatically starts to remove the material with an angle to it. When finished, I'm going to click in an open area, remove our robot, and there we have removed material using our context toolbar.